The gaming industry is about to witness the release of two of the most anticipated AAA titles of recent times. With Blizzard's Diablo 4 and Bethesda's Starfield, these developers have faced their sh fair share of struggles, such as Blizzard's Whoa Woes and Bethesda's Fallout 76 fiasco. It is undoubtedly important for both companies to succeed with these upcoming releases. But I think there's a larger question looming over the horizon. As a not self-professed gaming snob, I haven't played Call of Duty since that second one. You know, that one. After my hipster teenage self thought it was quote-unquote too mainstream. Yes, I didn't understand teenage me either. Recently, I picked up Modern Warfare 2 on Steam and have been playing through the single-player campaign. And oh my god, I have realized that I don't play many AAA games anymore. Is the core gameplay a bit dull? A polite person might say try it and test it. But oh my god, is that game shiny. The art design is impeccable. The level design manages to always swap things up enough to keep it interesting. And most of all, oh my god, the sound design is remarkable. I mean, they have separate, different sound settings. No, it's just an audio nerd's wet dream. But playing through COD and enjoying its AAA glossiness got me thinking, wait, what really is a AAA game at the moment? The really simple answer is, it's one of those games from a big name studio that everyone knows that spends a crap ton of money usually to turn out a well-known IP and doesn't hire me to voice act because I'm not based out of LA or New York. I'm not bitter. No, this is not a video about how I think Diablo 4 and Starfield are going to fail. I actually suspect they may not. And they will not lead to the collapse of AAA game studios as they're abandoned by their financial backers in some sort of YouTube drama-filled crisis. I want to suggest that the category we put these games in, and thus the praise and scorn we heap upon them, <clears throat> Fallout 76, anyone, might no longer be applicable in a few years. This is because when you really start thinking about games from a game design aspect, what really makes the difference between being a triple A game and being a game by a slightly large indie studio is the sheer amount of money and staff that can be put in the production. It's not the being based out of LA with Hollywood talent. It's not being a well-established and beloved IP. It's just the sheer number of hours of labor put into production of the game, its assets, its code base, its marketing and motion capture and narrative design, and maybe even voice acting. So, if you think about it like that, there's not really two clearly defined categories, one called triple A and another called indie. It's a spectrum, a spectrum defined by the amount of money spent on labor. You don't magically transform into Todd Howard the moment you become a AAA dev. You just end up with a lot more employees. And the reason you have a lot of employees is that the financial overlords that fund you believe putting that money into all those hours of labor is going to turn out a product that's going to return on their investment. This got me thinking. Will AI be the beginning of the end of AAA gaming? I'm not saying, as many YouTube a video has been made, that AAA gaming studios will eventually collapse in on themselves due to their moral ineptitude and bad games. I mean, that could happen, but that's not what I'm saying here. What I think is that with improvements in game engine design, notably with Unreal Engine 5, but also with Unity and my own beloved Godot. Yes, it is Godot not Godot. I'm, I'm abiding by community guidelines. Godot people, please don't murder me. Improvements in asset design in Blender, Adobe Suite, and my also beloved Icebrite. When all these improvements are combined and, and then fully integrated into AI systems, we could be looking at a world in which a reasonably small dev team can achieve the developmental scale of these AAA studios. Will the ability to access AI tools increase their productivity to the point where AAA studios end up hiring less employees and indie developers can do much more in terms of game production with much less staff? If we think about the major areas in which AAA game studios expend resources, the number one of these compared to indie devs has got to be marketing. And this I feel is the strongest point against my question in this video. The cost of marketing, as far as I can tell, is not likely to go down due to AI. 
maybe other than replacing the voice actors. But when we look at the components that are more crucial to the actual quality and depth of the game, we can begin, I think, to see that we're going to see a significant closing of the gap between indie studios and their AAA competitors. ChatGPT can already help me code way faster than my dumbass usually can. But this is only the beginning. Imagine AI tools that can help a small dev feed a sprite sheet onto a character, and this sprite sheet then can be automatically mapped onto the controller inputs in a click, with some small editing to be done by the dev to smooth things out. That's saving you like an hour of work there as a small game jam dev. And ChatGPT is already not very far from helping you with that task. It already can to an extent, but imagine it being integrated into the tools themselves. And that's coming. I mean, VidQI is already telling me how I should title this video, but I'm not going to listen to it. <laughs> when we then think about your smaller indie studios that nonetheless have quite a few people on staff, this savings in time could really add up to radical changes in the scale, size, and type of games these studios are able to make. The amount of jobs that can be shortened with AI tools are enormous. I feel like I'm repeating myself a bit here, but we can fully voice act our beloved old Infinity Engine games doing it with AI without paying Jim Cummings his basic studio fee, which is probably a lot because Jim Cummings is a god. Woohoo! If AI could generate parameters for world generation in a way that it took the dedicated staff of No Man's Sky years to tweak, all in a matter of hours, there's no real way to say for sure yet. But the days when relatively simple tasks in game design took hours of menial labor is soon to be a thing of the past. Game development is going to be a lot more about human creativity and less about technical knowledge, as maybe will be the case for our whole species on this globe. What do you think? Will there still be a distinction between AAA games and indie developers in the future, or will the term AAA game really only mean a game with a big fat marketing budget. Let me know in the comments. If you want to see more games journalism without the journalism, give me a sub. It always motivates me to keep making more content like this. I'll see y'all later. Peace.